So in this video, I'm gonna take a look at the all new ACMR P3, the 48 watt version of this laser. I've been waiting for it for a long time and it's finally here. I'm gonna tell you if I like this laser. Now here's a spoiler, I love it. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now, I've been a long time fan of the ACMR laser family. Uh, I reviewed the ACMR P2 about a year ago. And if you haven't seen that review, you can click up in the corner here and go watch that video. Uh, I've also given away two ACMR lasers on this channel, an ACMR P1 and an ACMR P2. But now ACMR has this new ACMR P3 laser. And this laser is quite exciting because it's got some serious technology that you haven't seen in any other laser. And I think Hackmer is the most underrated laser company right now, and I want to talk about it. So uh, I'll, I'll do some benchmarks, and uh, we'll talk about those, and I'll compare them to some similar laser output, uh, and you'll see quite a difference. I'll also do a, a little project so you can see what this laser is like in the real world, and I'll come up with some pros and cons at the end and uh, give you a final assessment. And that's really enough to get started, so let's start looking at some of those new features. And there's quite a few of them here, but we're going to start with the architecture implemented here to move the laser head around. In a typical laser, there's usually three stepper motors. There's one on each side of the Y-axis to move the gantry around. And then there's one on the gantry to move the laser module around. And that in it has proven to be reasonably effective, but it has a couple of side effects. The stepper motor is heavy, so it makes the gantry much heavier, which means you have to slow down uh, movement. And it also means that you're moving uh, either the X or Y. So when you draw something like a circle, it's not really a circle. If you look really closely, you'll see that it's a bunch of line segments. And they, they're short enough in general to form something that looks like a circle, but it isn't really a circle. So by contrast, the architecture here is something called Core XY. And the P3 uses just two stepper motors to move everything around. So both both stepper motors control the y-axis as well as the x-axis. That means that there's no additional stepper motor on the gantry, and that makes it lighter. And because those stepper motors can essentially control the very accurately the position of the laser head anywhere on the workspace, a circle is more or less truly a circle. So not only do you get better accuracy, you also get better speed. And if you look at the specs for, for the P3, you'll see that the maximum speed here is 48,000 millimeters a minute. That's a smoking fast laser. And I've, I've pushed this a bit and it works really well. So uh, so that's the architecture. And, and I haven't seen this on any other laser, but I'm pretty sure you're going to start seeing it. So now we want to talk about laser power. And there's actually four different laser modules for this laser. They're all purchasable individually. And I know some lasers uh, that have had these different power levels have made it difficult or impossible to, to swap laser modules uh, from an availability perspective. But this one, out of the box, they're all available on day one. The first one I'll talk about is the 48 watt module, which is the one I'm gonna review in this video. It's also switchable to 24 watts, so you get the best of both worlds. Now, it's also the most expensive, but you can do 48 watt cutting, and it cuts really well, as I'll show you in the tests, and a 24 watt engraving module. Then there's the straight 24 watt module. If you just do mostly engraving, a two watt IR module for engraving metals. And then there's this first of its kind combined module where you have a 10 watt diode laser and a two watt IR laser in the same module. And again, a little higher price, but you get the flexibility of doing two things, uh, in a sense, engraving almost any material that's available. 
So the third feature I'll call out here might seem a bit trivial, but this is actually really significant. And again, I haven't seen this on, on other lasers and that's the honeycomb built into the tray. So if you, if you slide the tray out, the crumb tray, uh, the honeycomb comes with it. Unlike most lasers where you typically put the laser on a table, you plunk the honeycomb underneath it and it's free to slide around. It, it's more of a, of a spacer rather than anything accurate. Here in the P3, it's bolted to that, that bottom tray, which, which has a very accurate repositioning. So the, the honeycomb is always in the same place and it doesn't move around. And that means you can accurately position material on the workspace. So very, very good feature. Really for the price of four screws, you get an exceptional capability that isn't in most other lasers. Now, the last feature I want to talk about here is the designation of class one safety. And what that really means is this laser is not going to try and kill you. It's not an open frame laser, so there's not going to be light scattered everywhere. Uh, it has an enclosure that's laser safe. It also has switches to ensure that if you open the lid, it's going to stop the laser. So it, it just make sure when you're buying a laser, uh, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. You may have noticed that I don't really review open frame lasers anymore. This is why, because they're just inherently dangerous. So uh, consider this if you're buying one. Now be careful because lots of laser companies say they're class one designation, but what they really have done is just done a, a self-certification and that doesn't really guarantee anything other than a manufacturer who's willing to overlook some things to sell you a laser. So be careful, and, but I really think you should be looking for lasers with class one certification these days. So there's a few of the core features of this laser that you generally won't see in other lasers on the market. I'm sure you're gonna start though because some of these are so compelling that you just have to buy this laser. Uh, there's also lots of features that other lasers do have, although they tend to be implemented here in a slightly better way, we'll say, just overall. Uh, for example, the five megapixel camera in the lid, lots of lasers have them, but when I calibrated this one, it was accurate to within a millimeter positioning on the material. Uh, I just haven't seen that on other lasers. Again, Lots of lasers have these some of these features, but this one in the P, in the P3, they've they've done a little extra work to make sure they're all just a bit better than most other lasers. So with that in mind, I, I want to take a look at some benchmarks now, and uh, I'll show you what a 48 watt laser can actually do, which is going to shock you because I'll compare this to another 40 watt laser I tested, and you'll you'll see a vast difference here. So let's get going on some of the benchmarks and have a look. And the tests I normally run are my standard benchmark tests that allow me to compare power, uh, equal powered lasers with the same settings. And of course I'll start with a cut. I, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. This is just a snippet, but you can see it cutting there. And then the engrave of course, uh, which has really nice deep engraving at lower speeds. Uh, the gradient test, which is the fourth test here, which is a zero to hundred grayscale. And then I engrave a standard image of a dog, which I engrave on all lasers. And when you look at the results here, the cut is remarkable. This is the best cut I've ever seen from any laser. Uh, the engrave uh, looks good. I probably could have want, gone faster here because there's just so much power in this laser, even though it's only 48 watt. The gradient test tells me that I want to do a fairly fast engrave at 35,000 millimeters a minute for the dog. And you can see the dog came out uh, very nicely here. So, so that's the, the general overall results. Now, if I look at the results compared to another laser, you'll see quite a difference. And the laser I chose to compare to was the 48 watt IKEA K1 Pro. And I start with the overview here and you can see just the dramatic difference, but look at the difference in these cuts. Now, keep in mind, these are both 48 watt lasers and the and the Acmer P3 just does such a nice job. Now, when I look at the photo, you can see how much darker it is, how much crisper it is. It's just a really amazing output, and I can't say enough good things about the Acmer P3. So with the benchmark's done, I wanted to do just a simple little project, and I have this penguin project that I use, and it's nice because it has curves and lots of holes to cut out that have to be exactly right, otherwise it won't fit together. And I just quickly opened it up in Lightburn here and you can see what it's gonna look like. I cut it out and note that there's almost no smoke here. I saw some smoke in the engrave, but, but the cut here was fantastic. 
and I just easily lifted the piece out of the, the laser and when I put it together here rapidly you'll see it comes out and it looks it looks great the edges are fantastic there's no real charring anywhere and just a great little laser for building simple things so that's the Acmer P3 48 watt laser. Now, I think this is probably the best laser I've ever tested. So I'm actually going to keep it in my shop for a while and just use it for real world projects as customers come in and uh, see how it works. And I'll, I'll post back if I run into any issues or I have any major successes. Uh, I'll put them out in the community tab, which if you click the, uh, the bell, you'll get notified when things get posted in there. Now, I do want to talk about some things I think they did really well here and some things that maybe they could improve, though the latter of this, this set will be pretty small uh, because really this is a virtually perfect laser. Uh, but on the pro side, uh, there's lots of leading edge technology here. The core XY architecture, which came from the 3D printer world, really makes a difference here. It's, it makes this laser really fast and uh, very precise as far as I can tell. Uh, lots of safety uh, as well as part of this, the class one uh, laser cabinet and all the safety around that uh, really makes uh, this laser, you know, not feel so, so deadly as some of the open frame lasers. And of course, with the 48 watt laser module, there's lots of power, but this particular laser seems to have more power than even a lot of 60 watt lasers. Uh, next on the list here, uh, as far as laser options, there's four different laser modules you can put in this I mentioned. And you can buy these off the shelf. You don't, you don't have to worry about whether you can get one later. I know some people had some challenges with Xtool trying to upgrade from a 20 watt to a 40 watt. Not the case here. And uh, finally, uh, I think this laser is priced right. There's a lot of variants here. But if you look at all of them and find a, a competitive laser for those, you're going to find that this laser is priced in the sweet spot. Now, on the con side, I, I had to struggle pretty hard to find something that I didn't like about this laser. And it came down to one thing and one thing only. While the air assist pump is virtually silent when it's running, the uh, 4000 RPM exhaust fan in the back of the cabinet is decidedly not quiet. So you have to expect that it's going to make a bit of noise. Now it is running at 4000 RPM. It evacuates the laser phenomenally well, but it does make a bit of noise. So keep that in mind. Now, before I wind down here, I'll mention that I'm part of a weekly live stream with a few other YouTubers. It's called Shop Talk Live, and it's really a fireside chat where we talk about a lot of things, but you can certainly bring your shop questions. Uh, to the to the conversation and we'll do our best to answer them. We will give you a couple of different perspectives uh, most times. Uh, also, if you got anything out of this video or some of the other videos on this channel, be sure to subscribe and also hit the like button. Uh, likes are free and they really help out the algorithm. Uh, also, feel free to leave comments down below on any video if you have questions or, or additional input because we're all about helping everybody in, and I certainly don't know all the answers. Now, I'll put an affiliate link to the Acma P3 down in the description below if you're interested in buying one and helping out the channel at the same time. You can click that link and I'll say uh, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.